The Greeks who emigrated to America realized an overwhelming need to gather and promote the values of Hellenism aimed at supporting and uplifting their growing community, humanity, freedom, democracy, and individual excellence. As it happened, these values not only represented the principles of their homeland, but aligned with American ideals. On July 26, 1922, now a century ago, eight Greek men came together in Atlanta, Georgia to do just that, responded to the evils of bigotry and racism. These eight Greeks were the founding members of AHEPA. Due to its popularity with the Hellenic community, the organization spread rapidly with new chapters throughout the South, then eventually in the Midwest, in the cities, such as Milwaukee, Chicago, and Merrillville. As the organization grew, so did AHEPA's purpose and mission to promote Hellenism, education, philanthropy, civic responsibility, and family and individual excellence. These five pillars have been uniquely identified as the backbone of what AHEPA represents. Hellenism our commitment to promoting humanity, freedom, and democracy. Education, providing over two million annually in scholarships to bright young individuals, enhancing the culture experience of young adults through the journey to Greece, presenting regular seminars, symposia, and forums, enabling conversations, debate, and exchange of ideas, as well as the funding and preserving Hellenic and classical studies in major American universities. Civic responsibility, participating and engaging in political advocacy on the national, state, and local level, serving in the armed forces and government, selling over 400 million of war bonds during World War II the largest amount by an organization outside the government, building health care facilities in the United States and Greece, volunteering in the community to help those in need, creating a HEPA housing to provide seniors with over 6,000 units in nearly 100 complexes throughout the United States, philanthropy, contributing towards disaster relief in the United States and Greece, helping to eliminate life-threatening diseases by funding cancer and thalassemia research, and the creation of the AHEPA Bone Marrow Registry, supporting local charities such as food banks and feeding the hungry, school and toy drives, and so much more, family and individual excellence, working with the daughters of Penelope sons of Pericles, maids of Athena, Ahepa has safeguarded the cohesion of family while empowering every member within it. Ahepa's endeavors have been vast and impactful with over $1 billion in donations. Even though Ahepa has grown over the years to become the international organization with over 500 chapters in three continents, tonight, it's about honoring the local individuals who have impacted us on a monumental scale. They have exemplified an adherence to these pillars, leaving a legacy of impact in their wake. Please join us in honoring these individuals. The late William Vasilios Albanos. Vasilios was a 30-year member of AHEPA and past district governor valued education above all and wanted to ensure that the future students had access to education. In addition to supporting the district and chapter scholarship programs, Vasilios was a professor of economics at several community colleges throughout Chicago. Born and raised in New York, Vasilios received a PhD in agricultural economics where he worked for the Department of Agriculture and traveled the world to places such as St. Petersburg, Mongolia, and Afghanistan. Vasilios also served multiple terms on the AHEPA National Board of Auditors. To honor his dedication and devotion to the organization, Chapter 202 officially changed their name to the Vasilios Albanos Chapter. AHEPA uh, gave him 
a sense of belonging and a purpose. And he really threw himself into whatever he was asked to do. And he shined at a lot of it. Uh, he enjoyed the brotherhood that it brought to him and it offered. And it, he also enjoyed being able to network with other like-minded business people. And it gave him a foundation that he needed to succeed in other areas. It built his confidence. It was almost like another child to him. I think that he's watching and he is so proud. He really, he really, really loved HEPA. He really did. The late Louis Gus Etzavis was a 63 year member of North Shore 94 and a past Supreme Governor serving most officer positions on both the chapter and district levels. He attended the University of Illinois where he studied business. Lewis believed education with the utmost conviction committing his time to uplifting the Ahepa 13th District Scholarship Foundation as well as serving as the president of the foundation. He also saw the importance of helping those in need and could always be found leading programs to feed the hungry. Lewis had a unique passion for bowling and his participation in the Ahepa Bowling League was his pride and joy. Lewis was a veteran of the U.S. Army, a member of St. Demetrius Greek Orthodox Church, a past president of the Pan-Laconian Federation. He was married to Helen for over 50 years. This, this was Louis in his youth. And he, he never changed either. He was, just got a little chubbier, that's about it. Yeah. He always young at heart and always giving. When he started recruiting people, he, uh, he got his family in first. He made me join the daughters of Penelope. The daughters went to the maids, the, the, the sons, uh, joined the, the sons. And the conventions were the highlight of our life, actually, because we took our children with us and they had fun and they met people. And I think the best and the most friendships that we have, we have uh, made in the Ahepa family. He would do anything for children, and he was a true Helene, but very proud American. We were married 55 years, and this Ahepa and the daughters and the Laconians and the church, the, the, and our family, of course, it was our life. Steve Stash Betzelos. Stash Betzelos is a 76 year member of the AHEPA. He served the organization at every level, ultimately serving as the Supreme President from 1987 to 1988, and later serving as the Chairman of the Board of Directors. Stosh was instrumental with the 13th District Scholarship Foundation, awarding scholarships to hundreds of high school students during his tenure. As a veteran of the U.S. military, Stosh recognized the need and created the Veterans Memorial at Elmwood Cemetery, honoring those of Hellenic descent who served in the armed forces. Born in Evanston, Illinois, and a lifetime resident of Chicago, Stosh is a member of St. Demetrius Greek Orthodox Church in Chicago and was married to his wife Irene for 63 years, who together sponsored and brought 33 children from Greece for open heart surgeries. IHAPA has been very dear to me, being a member since 1946 till today. It's, it's the friendships and the families and the participation in all the things for the community have been fantastic. My continuation of participation in AHEPA is because I love it. The people love me. We've created strong community bonds and people bonds and AHEPA is respected totally from one end to the other. 
I can't say anything better for it. The late Evangeline Lynn Dallas. Evangeline Lynn Dallas was a longtime member of the Daughters of Penelope Dion Chapter 316, where she served the chapter as recording secretary. Her commitment to the organization was evident with her incredible sense of humor, kindness, positive attitude, and her ability to inspire those around her to engage more with the community and through charitable work. Lynn was active at Annunciation Cathedral where she taught Sunday school and was an active member in the Philoptochos. She also worked on the staff at the Metropolis of Chicago. I think the Daughters of Penelope opened up another area for her to contribute to community. It gives us a platform to participate in philanthropic events and support education through scholarship to get involved in community and reconnect with some of her uh, friends as well. So we're a pretty um, social group and she had an incredible sense of humor. So she brought a lot of that to the table too. I, I know for me, um, I feel very strongly about my eth ethnicity. And to me, being involved in these organizations helps me to feel like I'm giving back to an organization that's going to help foster that. Kathy Ferguson was a past grand president of the Daughters of Penelope from 1998 to 1999 and continues to be a longtime member within the Homer Chapter 98. While grand president, Kathy was instrumental in supporting the Penelope House, an organization that supports victims of domestic abuse and their children, as well as St. Basil Academy, a residential school for at-risk children. Support of St. Basil Academy included installing a swimming pool amongst other things to assist in the children's occupancy. Prior to her retirement, Kathy was a manager in human resources for the Cubicore world. Kathy is a member of Assumption Greek Orthodox Church where she serves on the Philoptochos and previously has served on the National Philoptochos Board. I always feel if you know your roots and you know where you came from, your future is at hand. And I think the future of our organization, the Order of Ahepa, the Daughters of Penelope, the Maids of Athena, Sons of Pericles are very strong. And I hope that they continue that way. The Daughters of Penelope has been in my heart since I joined, and that was back in probably 1972. <laughs> I don't think there could be anything much greater than that. John Galanis, a lifetime member of the Milwaukee Chapter 43 and past Supreme President of AHEPA from 2015 to 2016 served the organization at every level and was committed to education and philanthropy. A graduate of the University of Wisconsin, London School of Economics, and the University of Michigan Law School, John was an attorney and named partner at a law firm in Milwaukee. John and his wife, Patricia, married over 50 years, are members of the Annunciation Greek Orthodox Church, where John served as the parish president and chaired both the building of the church's cultural center and the housing and urban development project with over 45 affordable housing units for seniors. We all come from different backgrounds, educationally, uh, vocationally, and so forth, and economically. It's, it's a coalition of all these together with common interests and, and basically <laughs> very proud of their heritage and their contribution to American life and uh, our forefathers. The unique experience, in my opinion, is to be the son of immigrants. 
because you understand what they went through to come here and uh, what they had to endure and, and, and raise a family. And what I find is a certain kinship with people from other countries, regardless if they're Greek or whatever, in that same predicament. And I, I have great empathy because I know the difficulties and, and the joys that come with it. And <clears throat> frankly, I wouldn't trade it for anything or anybody. The late Steve Gavaris, a lifelong resident of Milwaukee, was a 77-year member of the Milwaukee chapter number 43, serving as chapter president on seven different occasions and was a founder of the Milwaukee chapter 43 scholarship program, where he was a committee member for more than 40 years. Born to immigrant parents, Steve graduated high school and served both in World War II and the Korean War, receiving a commission as lieutenant in the Army and Army Air Corps. Steve received military commendations from President Harry Truman for his service. Steve was a member of the Annunciation Greek Orthodox Church and served as parish president. My dad is also called Mr. Ahepa because he was around forever. He'd go to all the meetings, go to the church meetings, he'd go to two churches, and he, he would just be there for all the events. It really was the community glue of our chapter. And it, for both churches, it didn't matter. And he knew all these people intimately. So that just shows you the person that he was. They all loved Steve. By the time I got involved, he was in the fundraising and he was like a machine. He'd get in his car and he was probably in his early 80s. He would spend all day driving to all the restaurants owned by Greeks and ask for donations. And I remember one year we might have raised twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars $25,000 and he probably raised 10, 11 at just himself. He, he worked as a, as an Ahepa until the day he died. Just a kind man and a Ahepa is so much better off because of Steve Cabarrus. Right. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, his legacy is very much the scholarship and, and it's easier for us to be able to attract members to our chapter, quite honestly, because of the foundation that they've, they've built. HEP has inspired a lot of educators, uh, many of our leaders, and they have made our world a better one for all of us. The late James Jefferis was a lifelong resident of the Milwaukee area where he was a mentor, athlete, and leader in the community. As a life member of the Milwaukee chapter number 43, for more than 50 years, James served as past president of the chapter and was a founder of the Milwaukee chapter's scholarship program in 1959. As an educator, James taught at a high school for more than 30 years and coached the tennis team. As an athlete in his own right, James won the State Senior Open Tennis Championship. He was a member of the Annunciation Greek Orthodox Church and served on the parish council. Jim was a mentor. He taught me how everything centered around the kids. Yeah. And he talked about, if you ever have a decision to make, what is best for the, the, the the young men and women that are getting awards. And um, he was a champion and he said one thing I remember, he said, you know, we're here to give scholarships and for some of these young um, men and young women that are of Greek descent, this might be the only scholarship they receive in their life. Right? So let's make it the best we can. He was a proud uh, Helene, Greek American. Education mattered a lot, which is a big pillar of our chapter and our, our community, but he also loved his heritage and he wanted to be able to share that. He was an example for us of how to commit and dedicate our efforts and talents to helping the youth and generations behind us. And so our involvement with Jim, both in the HEPA chapter and uh, in the scholarship committee, 
I think really, you know, helped propel all three of us to continue to carry the torch for Jim and Steve. Peter Masters is a 50-year member of the AHEPA and past Supreme Governor. Originally from Evia, Greece, Peter joined AHEPA when coming to Chicago after witnessing the camaraderie within the organization, along with the ideals of its members and the national recognition AHEPA had. After completing his term as Supreme Governor, Peter continued to travel on behalf of the organization to help spread the message and good works, helping to form chapters in Greece, Cyprus, and Constantinople. Peter is a member of Saints Constantine and Helen Greek Orthodox Church in Palos Hills. He, along with his family, have operated Master's Pancake House for many years. When I first uh, learned about the HEPA, that was back in 1977. And that's how I met some of heavens and I learned about the, what the organization was and I was in. Uh, the most important thing was uh, to help whoever the people need help. And the, I felt that the HEPA was something more than any other regular Greek organizations. And the uh, White House recognized the HEPA and that's, that's very, very important. I'm proud of that too. Uh, no other like organizations that have been recognized like I have. I, I uh, this is my life really that changed my life. Tom Pespalas is a lifetime member of the North Shore Chapter 94. Originally from Yonkers, New York, Tom graduated from Yale University, where he was classmates with Bill Ford and George H. W. Bush. Tom then went on to serve in the U.S. Marine Air Corps B-25 Squadron, where he flew 53 combat missions during World War II. A supporter of AHEPA Athletics, Tom was a professional referee in the Big Ten Conference for football, basketball, and baseball. Tom married his wife Jean in 1953 and is a member of St. Demetrius Greek Orthodox Church. His family has been running the Athenian Candle Company on Halstead Street. The Candle Company is also celebrating 100 years. I was in the Air Corps, the Marine Air Corps. So one night after I came back from my mission, about 11 o'clock at night, I got a call from the office saying the Commandant wants to see you. Pack your bags, he says, you're going home tomorrow. And then I came back home and I stopped in Chicago and met my lovely wife. When I joined the HEPA, I got involved into the NHIBT tournament. It kept me in touch. Uh, like uh, up until today, my three children are all born here. They've gone to Greek school. They graduated from Greek school. They made Greek friends. And I'm happy to see that that the, the, the Greek blood is, is sticking with, with the people that I know for, uh, for years. Anna K. Poulos is a highly decorated officer in the Daughters of Penelope in her 67 years as a member. Having held every chapter and district office, including District 13 governor, her commitment to the Daughters of Penelope is especially evident in her ability to invite new members to the cause who were inspired by her philanthropic endeavors and ceaseless commitment to family. Before her retirement, Anna was a longtime paralegal in Lake County where she handled matters in real estate and estates. I'm just very proud to that I am of Greek descent and I could shot it from the roof. We were taught to love one another, to respect one another and to uh, to care for the next person. And that's, that's what the, the HEPA and the daughter is, that's exactly what we are. And I'm just so very proud to be a part of, of this organization. We are a true sisterhood in every sense of the word. It's a bond that just stays in our heart forever. Once we take our oath, but we, when you work together in all these different projects, it's your, there's such a, a definite closeness and you can't ever take that away from us. 
the late Nick Smyrnas. Nick Smyrnas, lifelong resident of Indianapolis, was a 73-year member and Supreme President of the Order of Ahepa from 1979 to 1980. Nick was a member of Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Church and a successful real estate executive. Using his business acumen and acting on his Hellenic ideals of wanting to help others, Nick spearheaded the founding of the Ahepa National Housing Corporation in 1983 and the Ahepa Management Corporation in 1991, both headquartered in central Indiana. This changed the trajectory of the Order of Ahepa and opened new avenues for Ahepans across the United States to engage in philanthropic efforts by helping those in need afford the basic necessity of housing. Nick Smyrnas passed away on January 15, 2022, just before his 99th birthday. Nick Smyrnas was known to a lot of our HEPA members as a mentor, including myself. Nick saw the vision that low-income senior citizens of the greatest generation would be able to live in dignity. At the same time, he decided that it was the best vehicle to use the order of a HEPA in a separate corporation to create a grant program. He made it his mission to promote the Hellenic ideals that the order of a HEPA stood for. The knowledge that each generation is passing on to the next HEPIAN is important and will be remembered and honored within the next hundred years. We have two churches in Milwaukee. It's amazing. You don't know the other men from the other church. So I, and then, you know, you're in church and there's a bunch of 70 or 80 year old men when I was 30 or 40, why would I ever talk to them? Well, with Ahepa, I got to know so many wonderful young and old Greek men. And I, like Peter and Tim said, I'm more entrenched in the community now. I know more people. So I would just encourage to try to get young people involved. And when you get involved, stay involved because you'll get much more out of it than you give. Yeah. I would like to congratulate Ahepa for lasting a hundred years. And I, and I just hope that the Ahepa Greeks will continue for another hundred years in good health. I want to congratulate the Order of Ahepa for all and all the honorees for a magnificent milestone of 100 years. And it took a lot of hard work, vision, and a lot of love to reach this date. And brother happens like my husband, Louis, he gave what it takes, hard work, commitment, perseverance, and most of all, love and smiles. And to his brother, it happens, the entire Ahapa family, the daughters, the maids, and the sons. What I can say, continue adhering to your mission statement. Think positive, love one another, and the next hundred years will be even brighter and better. Thank you.